Hi friends, I'm Jeff E.G. Do you get bombarded with advertisements for bundles of virtual instruments and effects and tools? Maybe you're a beginner and you took the right amount of time to figure out which digital audio workstation you really want and you were very careful in selecting it and the hardware that you run it on. And if you have any of the modern DAWs, they all come delivered with instruments and effects and all the tools you need to make music. So when you're getting these ads from all these third-party vendors, you might be asking yourself, do I really need any of these bundles? If you talk to a lot of people with more experience, they may share their opinion on whether you need them or not. And make no mistake, some of these bundles have some great instruments, effects, and tools. So you might have this dilemma, do I buy them or what should I do? Well, the pool table behind me is kind of a metaphor for this situation. It's like a lot of balls in the air, a lot of moving pieces. How do you decide? And what is the best strategy? Well, that's what I'm here to tell you. My suggestion is to get everything that's free first. All of these major bundles have either a trial version or a free version that's more limited that you can download and try out. The first free instrument bundle I would grab is from Arteria. It's the Analog Lab Play series. With it, you get 100 presets. You're also getting kind of a stripped down version of Analog Lab, which you're seeing here. And Analog Lab is a great interface for just using the presets from Archuria. It has some effects built into it. It has some controls for modulation, and it has this great interface for navigating through the sounds. So the free Analog Lab Play is kind of a stepping stone in the hierarchy of instruments that you can buy from Arturia. And their flagship product is at the end here. It's the V Collection, which is made up of 39 keyboard and synth emulations that are the best in the business. And only with the V Collection do you get this last checkbox, which allows you to do instrument editing as though you owned those particular keyboards. Everything below there is a variation of presets, 100, 500, and 2000. But all the presets are based on the exact same keyboard emulations. The selling point of the V Collection bundle is that you get these 39 classic synths, and you'll see them listed here. Analog synth, digital, keyboards or organs, lots of things from the 60s and 70s, acoustic and electric pianos, these are all the famous names you're familiar with, and they throw in some augmented acoustic instruments that are new. Now, the V Collection often goes on sale twice a year for 50% off, so it's best to time your purchase, but you're essentially getting all of these classic instruments, which if you were to buy the hardware, would cost you well over $100,000. Just a Jupiter 8 from Roland is probably in the twenty dollars to $30,000 range. So getting these virtual instruments as emulations is the most cost-effective way to go. And there's no one else in the business that can match this bundle. It is definitely the king of keyboards and virtual synths. Of course, they're going to brag about it and say that it is the greatest ensemble if you're after accurate virtual instruments that emulate those traditional keyboards. And you'll see, I'll just scroll through the list here. They name them slightly different, but take the Acid V. You're getting a Roland 303 bass instrument. You're getting a Mini Moog. You're getting Korg. Junos, Prophets, Yamahas, all the big names are here. Digital synthesizers, names you're familiar with like the Emulator 2 or a DX7. Then you've got some classic keyboards and organs like a Farfisa or a B3 from Hammond. The acoustic pianos, the Wurlitzers and Rhodes all sound great. A lot of these vendors have a subset of the bundle entirely for free it's fully functional and it's not a trial that expires. But to get those free bundles, you do need to register with them, set up an account, download usually their portal, and that's gonna be the way you interact with that vendor in the future. Now, a lot of people have an issue with giving that personal information to many different vendors just to get the free stuff. 
But if you carefully go through that process, there are options to opt out of the email notifications. What it does give you is an abundance of time for you to try out what that vendor has to offer before you make a significant investment decision. The next bundle that deserves serious consideration is Complete Start. But it's important to know that the flagship product from Native Instruments is Complete 15. And I'm just looking at the standard edition. It comes in different editions depending on just how many instruments and the genre focus of your work. And they call it the Do-It-All Music Creation Toolkit. In that flagship product, there are actually 95 instruments and effects, 47 sampled instruments, that's a lot. And these are largely acoustic sounds that have been sampled meticulously and give you different playback options. There are 15 synthesizers included, some quite famous ones like Massive. There are 12 drum and percussion instruments included in that bundle. Most of these drum instruments are single sample players, but some are multi-sampled, velocity layered like the Studio Drummer and the Abbey Road 60s Drummer. Then you get 21 effects, including brand names like Guitar Rig and the Isotope Ozone 11 Mix and Mastering Tool. Native Instruments delivers expansions, which are additional synth presets, drum kits, loops, samples that you would use for expanding your sound library and creation capabilities. So that's a lot of stuff. If you were just to rush out and buy Complete 15 Standard, it could take you six months to a year to really learn what's in there, which is why I recommend starting with Complete Start. Here's a look at all the products that are free from Native Instruments. But let's pay particular attention to Complete Start. This is a stripped down version of Complete with just a select group of instruments. It's free to download, easy to install, but you will get capabilities that are in the latest release of Complete 15, just less of them. There are extensive third-party contact instruments that you can download for free. So having the Contact 8 player is an important step. Unfortunately, some of those instruments require the full contact sampler, which you do not get for free with Complete Start. You'll have to buy one of the bundles to get that. The point is, this bundle is easy to get started with, and it lets you dip your toes in the pool of the Native Instruments ecosystem. See if you like it, see if you like the sounds. Another great place to start is Spitfire Audio. They offer a free labs tool with packs you can download of high quality sampled instruments. If you browse through their packs, you'll see to the left, they've got piano, keys, drums, experimental, woodwinds, guitar, choir, synth, strings, percussion, and brass. And many of these, in fact, I think it's more than 55 of them, are free. You can see they're flagged here as free. So you can download the labs interface, plug it into your DAW, and add all of these free instruments. They deliver this both as Labs, which is free, and Labs Plus, which is a subscription. Labs Plus gives you access to all 113 packs. So the strategy I recommend is be aware of what you already have. What came with your DAW? Make sure you know what plugins and virtual instruments are included, and you've tried them out, and you get a sense of what they're capable of doing. This is an important first step before you go looking at all these third-party products. Now in that category, there are some leading vendors that are worth consideration. Archuria has their V Collection X. You've got Native Instruments with Complete 15. You've got Spitfire Audio with their free labs. You've got Isotope with some of the leading AI tools for mixing and mastering. And that's just to name a few. And to be fair, it's much cheaper to buy a bundle than it is to buy individual plugins. You might find one product that you're interested in, and it may cost anywhere from $69 to $200, but in a bundle where you're getting 10 or 12 different things, the cost per plugin drops down to about 30 bucks or less. So it's the old adage, the more you buy, the cheaper it gets. But how do you know that you need everything that's in the bundle? That's why I advocate getting the free stuff 
first. Now, I'm not here to convince you that you need these bundles or that you need any third-party plugins, virtual instruments, effects, or tools. You might be able to do everything you want to do with just the software that was included in your DAW. But the majority of musicians and producers out there eventually are going to want to expand their sound library or expand their capabilities for mixing and mastering. And that's where these third-party vendors really shine. The manufacturer of your DAW is very focused on music production and recording. But finding inspiration from within your DAW is unlikely. It happens more when you download some new software, try it out, and you're inspired to write a new song. So far, we've been talking about bundles, but there are thousands of individual free virtual instruments, plugins, tools, things that you could find. And I just want to make you aware that a source for finding them, if you're not inclined to surf the internet or watch YouTube videos on free, you could just set up an account with Plugin Boutique. They've organized all their free stuff into bundles, effects, instruments, sample packs, and studio tools. This gives you one source to find the most popular free individual instruments and bundles. There is a link in the description for my affiliate account with Plugin Boutique. Feel free to click on the link and sign up. As someone that's been at this for a while, I hope you find this video insightful and useful. And if you do, click on the like button, consider subscribing to the channel. If you have comments on anything that I've mentioned in here, feel free to add them. I always respond to comments. And consider clicking on the notification bell. Thanks for watching.